Hey everybody, welcome to another video on my channel. And in this particular one, we are gonna add another 3,600 icons to our Flutterflow project. So if you get a little bit bored with some of the stock sort of icons that come with Flutterflow, let's just add a little bit more variance in there as well. And these come all courtesy of using tabular icons. Please do go and check their website out, by the way. So without further ado, let's get into the video and let's get cracking. Okay, so in this particular video, I'm gonna create a brand new Flutterflow project. Of course, if you've already got a project, the same steps still apply. So let's create a blank project, hit that. And I'm gonna turn off Firebase here, not interested in that. Let's start building straight away. Now, what you need to do is the link is in the description, of course, and that is gonna allow you to download a, a zip file. Please do uh, extract that zip file and it will look something like this. So you can see here we've got two files and here we've got the true type font and then we've got the custom icons, tablet icons, dot dart file. This is really just kind of like a, a reference class that will kind of reference all of the individual icons within inside that true type font file. And that of course allows us then to reference that within inside our Flutterflow project. So let's now move back over to Flutterflow Let's move here on the left-hand side. Let's go to theme settings, go to topography and icons. Let's just scroll down here. And this is the area that we're going to kind of operate in. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is add the true type font file. So just choose upload icon. And here is that file there. Just select that, hit choose. And next up, we need to then also upload the class file. So choose upload icon info. And here is that file that is readily prepared for you. So just hit choose. And then you're now gonna see a kind of a preview here of the icons that's available in this particular set. So choose add icons. And you can see here at the bottom, we've got tabular icons that's now referenced here. And of course, if you've got other custom icons, you can kind of add, keep adding those to your project. So let's see how this works then in the real world. Let's move over to the widget tree. Let's add a simple icon on screen. So just gonna choose icon here. Let's add the widget. There it is. Now on the right hand side, we've got the arrow that's there by default, just select that. And we've got the regular tabs that you're used to, but of course on the right hand side, you can see we have this custom icons, which is including 3,632 additional icons. Now I'm pretty confident there's gonna be something in there in addition to the ones that we got here for your particular project. And what's kind of nice about this is, of course, the icons are a little bit different than the standard set that kind of comes packaged with a Flutterflow. So you can do all the regular stuff here. I recommend that you try different combinations of name in order to narrow down to the icon, because of course, the naming may be uh, kind of slightly different or it might be a variation of the name that's applied to each of these particular icons. So for example, if I'm looking for a home icon here, there's plenty of choice available. I might be looking for some arrows and of course lots of different types of arrows available in this particular set so just keep using different combinations to hopefully find the icon that you need so that's it it's as simple as that in this particular video um hopefully you have found that useful and you've got something you can now use in your own projects of course if you love this type of content please do obviously subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you would like to become a member of the Digital Pros and No Code Academy, which is just a fantastic uh, kind of community, and of course all articles and more videos and all that kind of good stuff and sample applications are loaded with inside the Academy, then please do also check the link in the description. So that's it, until the next video, I'll see you soon.